so I think the first thing to say is, is you know, there's, there's no doubt that the nature of the uh, economy changes because of the technology. So we've already seen a number of jobs disappear. I think that you know there is a, a very interesting debate about which are the sort of next jobs which are affected by changes in technology. So the sort of is it the blue collar workers, the white collar workers? What jobs are, are going to go? Um, how you deal with that, I think, is about how you change and adapt your economy to take advantage of that. So I think worrying about whether this is going to happen is almost the, the wrong question. The, the better question is, if this is going to happen, how can we adapt and how can we, as a country, be on the front foot and trying to create the jobs of the future around the new technologies rather than simply trying to sort of protect the old against, against the new. So I think that's about um, uh, politicians, decision makers, understanding the changes which are coming and then trying to adapt the industrial strategies uh, to try and uh, secure the kinds of industries and jobs that which we're going to be able to maximise in the future. So I think what Ofcom does is, is to do two things really, which is to one, to try and establish the facts and to try and explain the nature of the change that we're seeing in communications and technology market and what the implications will be for that. And then, you know, secondly, to try and uh, create the infrastructure, and I talked about this in the, in the speech, about the, 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 the infrastructure which is going to underpin not just our digital communications industry, but increasingly our whole economy. The, the short answer is I, I don't know, I don't think anyone knows right now. My, my suspicion is that this stuff isn't substitution or it's complementary. So uh, I'm not sure uh, that it doesn't necessarily stop us communicating or doing the things that we used to do. I think it just gives us new opportunities and new and different ways of communicating and interacting with each other. So there's a sort of let's be scared of it version of this and then there's a let's be positive about it version of this. And at the moment I, I, I tend to veer towards the let's be positive version of this accepting uh, that you know within that you've got to keep a, an eye on it because you know, the technology does have the potential to do that. I don't necessarily mean think it does therefore do that.